Hi guys, a very warm welcome to the Niels Foro Design channel, where today I'll talk you through our Brad Fan homage. We are working on this for quite a while now. What I'll talk you through today is actually the very, very early start of each coach building project and also this Brad Fan homage project. And I'll guide you through the entire story with photos such as the one you see here. And what is the significance of these photos? Well, it gives you a little peek into the process of the very early stages of each coach building project. Because what we do together with the client uh, and the coach builder of each specific project is we'll walk, literally walk around the car together and see what it is that we're working with. In this case, a few things are important to mention. This car up front has a V12. It has a manual gearbox and it has two seats, one here, one there, no rear seats and a cabin that is placed towards the back. Well, why is this important? It's because the original Brad van had a very similar layout. So this V12 and this manual transmission are very key together with the layout of the cabin towards the back to why we chose this specific car. In its essence, in its architecture, this is the way the original Brad van was built as well. So having said that, we'll zoom in to the car a little bit more and we'll have a look at what it is that we're seeing. Just like we would do that with the team. And it's not necessarily looking at the aesthetics, the actual design of headlights, of air intakes, is not overly significant in this stage because we could, if we would want to do so, change all of them. Now, what is way more important is looking at the hard points. Hard points are elements in a car's design or mainly actually the car's engineering that we cannot change or if we do want to change them, it's gonna be a massive undertaking and usually rather expensive. So we'll have a look at, for instance, the position of the A pillar, the B pillar and the C pillar. Um, and we'll have a look at elements like that. So this is where uh, the oil cooler is. Uh, you see that's only on one side. So if we want to change this, for instance, close it up or put it somewhere else, we have to think of the fact that it is there and that we have to redesign it and re-engineer it in the project going forward. So what we do next is we take the car apart. Uh, well, mainly the car mechanics do that, obviously. Uh, we'll have a look at that meanwhile. So we we'll walk around the car. In this case, the carpet is taken out of the boot. So what we do first, we don't start cutting in that car immediately. It's a very graduate process. And it's something, again, together with the coach builder that we'll look at. We first take the car apart mechanically. So. The, the engineers and the car mechanics, in this case, the client is, is very active himself as well. We'll have a look at elements that we can easily take out, like the carpet here in the back of the boot. And you see the fuel tank is positioned right there. And it's actually quite a, an interesting engineering element of this car, because you can see it's right in the middle of that boot, basically towards the some sort of firewall one could call it there is no rear seat obviously but it's more or less placed where the rear bench uh, rear seat would be and that is again significant because it's in the middle of the car so let's have a look at that rear end a bit more and you can see uh, the entire carpet is out of the car here and uh, this element here specifically it's quite deep it basically runs up into the middle there and what it is, is the place where the spare tire will go. And um, like I said, it goes down quite significantly. So if you look at the car from the back, you will almost see it if you go down on your knees or even a bit further. And again, this is something to take forward. You know, we have to look at this and say, uh, well, are we going to take this forward? Are we going to cut it out? Are we going to change it at all? Uh, you can see the tail lights are out, the rear bumper is off, and that means that we can have a look at, again, the hard points, elements that we cannot or do not want to change. And one of these elements that we do not want to change is this beam here. 
It's basically a cross beam that is a part of the crash structure of this car. So there's no reason to change that. Here you can see it a bit better. An element that runs across the car. And here you see this large, deep boot area. It really runs like that, which houses the spare tire. Here again, you see the fuel tank and all the hoses and elements and pumps that go left and right of the car. And it's in the middle of the car, obviously, because it's a great way of positioning heavy elements. Here, another look at that big fuel tank. And quite early on, we decided it actually looks pretty cool. So it's an element you would normally not see because we're working on a car that is inspired by race cars from the 60s let's maybe just leave it there because how cool is it if you would just see this element you see the working mechanics basically the, the internals the organs of the base car you see also how big for instance the pots are hanging underneath the car it's uh, basically making up the entire bottom end of this vehicle and then a quick look at the interior right underneath here would be that large fuel tank it, it runs down a bit more actually this is some sort of parcel shelf running like that and obviously a seat belt element over there and uh, another parcel shelf right underneath the glass area there so we again with the help of uh, fantastic mechanics have a look at what is underneath everything it's important to understand the mechanics of the car you're working with before you start with redesigning it or taking it apart and cutting it up if you like so carpet and other material like that is removed here you can see one of the options that we'll talk about in another video but it was quite a, a rare option actually it is a carbon fiber back for the sport seat this specific base car is equipped with so it's not a standard seat for this car something worth showing to you here you see how close the element here is to that seat back so again, something that we have to work with and we have to design around. Here you see all carpet is removed, uh, all glass is out. Carpet is uh, out of the boot, but also now out of this uh, parcel shelf. You can see it basically runs like that. And there's a step here and then it runs like that and then down. So here it is, the seat, the seat back. And that's pretty close towards that seat back. So this is welded to the body and this was one of the first parts that were actually cut out just again to see where elements were here you can see the fuel tank so the top view of that large fuel tank and now you can see it is literally placed not just in the middle of this axis of this car but also of that axis more or less it is really nicely positioned in the middle of the car definitely worth keeping we thought and that's something we decided quite early on in the project that it is such an interesting element of that car both mechanically as well as structurally so here we have another look at some of the details uh, this is that oil cooler on the fender that i talked to you about uh, a bit earlier and here we see uh, something you probably have seen before car design tape and what we do is we start with drawing basically very early lines on the car of okay where could we place certain elements we're looking very very roughly but it's a start we're looking at the early let's say proportional statements that we could make with the car so what if we cut here or what if we put another design element there how would the roof roughly flow around the car this is not necessarily design, but it is having a look at what the proportions of the final design could be if we would have a cut here or if we would have a fender, um, a air intake delete. Um, it is really looking at the rough elements of the car and you can see a bread van homage already starting to 
grow here right so these lines again very early but if you you know look through the eyelashes you might be able to read the shapes as I'm roughly blocking them in here so this is having a look at the hard points of the base vehicle and I'll be looking forward to seeing you in the next video where we will discuss the future of the Brad Fan homage in design and in coach building. Thanks for watching. If you have enjoyed this video here up until the end, then I think you'll like it. So please do like and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot. And it means that also we can take it forward into new videos. So please feel free to leave a comment. Let us know what you would like to see in future videos. Feel free to share this video amongst your peers. Thanks for watching and see you next time.